Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make this fun folio. I love it. Let me show it to you. Right, so we open it here. We have two um, pockets. We have a pocket here, a side pocket. On the back we have a side pocket. If we flip it over this way, we have a side pocket and two more of the... Um, uh, what is that called? Vellum pockets. So, I had a hard time following the instructions on this. Fold this, flip that. So I had fail, fail, fail. <laughs> I even tried to do it with just regular paper and it just failed like crazy. So what I did was I wrote down the measurements for the fold. Well, that would work great if you used to... Um, pieces of designer paper or, you know, pattern paper at eight and a half by 11. But I don't have any more of this Tim Holtz. I don't have any more sheets that I wanted to use or try to waste. <laughs> so um, I took two, or I took four actually, just free downloads of paper. And because of, you know, cutting off the white space, they are about 10 and a quarter by eight. So instead of eight and a half by 11, they're 10 and a quarter. So I'm gonna have to somehow adjust down from this, but maybe, maybe I can make it as wide. Well, let's see, <coughs> excuse me, my voice in the morning, <coughs> so sorry. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I don't really care what the front is. It might end up being one of those. I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to, what side do I want here? All right, so I want to do one, two, three, and this little bit of a quarter here. And I'm going to glue these two together. All right, that's step one. So we're going to kind of figure this out together because I am going to waste no more. So let me get my glue going. I guess that would be step one. Come on. It's being very stubborn. All right, three and the quarter. I promise I'm going to give you measurements, not just fold this, do this, because holy shamali, I did write in the comments, I'm like, I need um, directions for dummies. I guess I'll do it this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to put that down evenly. And check it on the back. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. I may have to cut that. I'll use my band holder. Make sure that's glued down. My paper trimmer ripped the edges of this paper apart, but I kind of liked it. I did distress around them to get rid of some of that white. Um, but I kind of liked it. I thought it lent itself to being a little, a little more vintage, I guess I should say. All right, now this is over at three and a quarter. If you use the eight and a half by 11 cut down paper, you want it at three and a half. You want to come over at three and a half. And I'll give you measurements um, for this size and for the um, regular size. Okay, so I did all the folding for this, and this piece of paper is 16 and a quarter. It's going to get scored at two and a half, six and a half, ten and three quarters, and fourteen and three quarters. I'll give you the measurements on the um, Tim Holtz paper in a minute. All right, so there are the score lines, and it's going to be from left to right, it's going to be valley, valley, hill, hill. All right, valley, valley, hill, hill. All right, so it's gonna end up like this. 
and it's okay that I have a little there. So what's gonna happen is it's going to be pocket, those pockets, the back's gonna be pockets. Well, actually I think the back's supposed to be this kind of a pocket. So it might be Valley, Valley, Hill, Valley. Yeah, and then the inside is going to be, no, that's not true. The inside's gonna be pocket and the three things, the back rather. So the back's gonna be plain, I'm gonna put a pocket on there. All right, it's a little different, it's okay. All right, so that's the basic setup of that. So I wanna get some um, of the vellum because I really like that. And I think I have a little bit sitting over here behind me. Um, but I don't know that I want to use this real pretty piece. Hold on. Let me grab it. I know I have another piece sitting here. Here it is. I found it. So this is going to go on the inside. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out my, my little um, notches for the pockets. I'm going to try to centralize that and go halfway on my punch. So that's a pocket, and this is a pocket. It's not a very big pocket, but it's a pocket. All right, and then I'm gonna glue my pockets down. Am I recording? Yes, a minute ago I was not recording. I could cut that down a little if I wanted to. Um, I just wanna ink this. A little more, a little too much white showing. All right, pocket, pocket. It's actually really easy once you um, get it down, but whew, I just could not follow the directions. <laughs> so hopefully just giving the score marks is a little easier for you. So this is a little pot. You can adjust it to make these pockets more even. I mean, what you want to end up with is just a little folio. And then I want to cut these at two inches. So let me grab my trimmer. Are they going to be wide enough? They're like four, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, they're four and a little more. So I think four would be good. Save the little scrap, and then this should be two and two. Well, how big is this? Three and three, three and a half, so two and a quarter. That's two, or what am I doing here? Yeah, two and a quarter, no. Anyhow, we're cutting this in half. <laughs> I can't, I can't this morning. Oh my gosh, I just can't. All right, so this is gonna get glued down here and here. I think I want this one on the bottom. Maybe turn like that. Oh boy. Sometimes crafting can be a, a challenge. All right, I'm gonna put that here and that there. I'm going to do all the construction um, with you. I might do the decorating off camera, only because the video is going to end up being so long. Um, I want to kind of get these to match on the side here, the space. That's about right, I think. Make sure they're straight. If they're not, I think it's almost too late at this point, but they look like they are. So here's my two pockets. Let me just put something in there to show you. Pocket there, pocket there. Now I did come in quite a bit with the glue, so that's kind of gonna affect it. Now I have, do you remember these tags I made? I have this one 
It's a little too big. It fit in the um, Tim Holtz one, but I'm going to have to make a tag or whatnot. All right, so that's that. This is the front I'm going to decorate. Here's this pocket. It's glued down. And then I need two more vellums. <laughs> I might use, let me grab some vellum. Because I don't want to ruin that nice piece. Here's my vellum. I kind of want to grab a piece that's not, you know, my absolute favorite. Because I might want to keep those big. All right, this one right here. Not my favorite. Whereas I pretty much love the rest of them. All right. In case you're not familiar, this is um, wallflower, but it's all vellum. Ooh, pretty. All right, this is four wide. So same as the other one, miraculously. <laughs> Bring this over. Let me cut off um, four. Let me cut off a little less than four, actually. And uh, what was that? They were... I do want them kind of the same. So they were one, a little more than one and three quarters. So one and three quarters and a little eighth of an inch more. One and three quarters and an eighth of an inch more. You can do the math on that. I don't feel like it. So that didn't work. So let me bring that out, and then that goes there, and this goes in here, the inside. One goes here, and one goes up here. Let me glue that on. Right here. And right here. I'll try to get closer to the edge this time. And I kind of want it, it's right about in here. And I kind of want it to match this as much as possible. I got glue everywhere. Take that. Take this. Uh, is it straight? Now it is. All right. So that, that, not that. All right. The only thing left in the construction is the little um, tab. And here's the thing. On this one... Where am I going to want it? It's not going to work well either. I think it's going to have to be here. And um, whatever I stick in this pocket is going to have to come down. Because if I put it here, let me see. If I put it here, it's not going to open right, right? It has to go over here. All right. While I, before I do that, I'm going to give you the measurements for this one in case you use eight and a half, eleven. At that case, you're coming three and a half inches over. All right, so this is a true, there's nothing there, but there's this here. So I wanna add on two inches. So it's 14, it's 16 and a half wide. All right, so then you wanna score at five and a half. Nope, that's not true. Four and three quarters, four and three quarters, nine and a half, 
and 14 and a half. All right, that's what you want to score for this one. Why is it not closing? There's something in the way. All right, this one I love. And this one's gonna turn out really pretty too. So you can use anything for a tab that you have. Um, if you have um, just a piece of paper, you can do that, you know, fold it around. I have to try to find, here it is. I have a die for it and I'm gonna use that. But you can use a circle. You can use anything you want. I, although that does look pretty nice. I might just use that. Save myself a step here. All I want to do is try to reinforce so that when I put the um, eyelid in, it kind of works out well. So let me um, just glue this. Use what you have, right? And I think I want it flush. I don't think I want it to come up, but I want it all the way up to the top because it is going to interfere with this pocket. All right. Let me close that up. up. And then I'm going to get out my little crocodile and my, I have these new eyelets, although they're pretty bright. I think it'll I think it'll go pretty nicely with this actually. I'll use one of those. All right, so then I want to put my hole kind of center in there. It wasn't all the way dry, so it's kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time. And then I want to put the eyelid on. That worked. All right. And then I'm going to, I'll just show you with this little piece here. I'm just going to um, put that in. <clears throat> I'm going to tie it. And then I'm going to wrap a couple times and that's how long it's going to be. But I'm going to go decorate this and I'll show you the end results off. Um, well, I'm going to decorate off camera and then I'll come back and show you when it's finished. All right. And here we have it, the completed one. This is the uh, first one I made. It's a little bigger, as you can tell. It was done with um, pattern paper, Tim Holtz. So let me open this one. All right, here's the front cover. Here's the inside. Oops, the sorry is just the tag that I made before. I filled the pockets with some um, little cards. I'm going to probably put stickers and things in there, load them up before I send them to a friend of mine. That's the back. Pretty. Flip it over and here's this side. Just a card and some more little little cards. Maybe I'll turn this into a tag too. So like I said, I'm going to load it up more and then I'm going to stick it in the mail to a friend of mine. And uh, I hope she likes it. I hope you like it. All right. Give the video a thumbs up if you do. Um, comments or questions below. I love reading your comments. And um, if you feel so inclined to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day.